understand why cheer up my brother live in the sunshine we're understanding all by and by when death has come and taken our loved ones it leaves our home so lonely and dreary, then do we wonder why others prosper, living so wicked year after year. Father alone, we know all about it. Father Understand why. Cheer up, my brother. Live in the sunshine. We understand it all by and by. When we see Jesus coming in glory, when he comes from his home in the sky. Then we shall meet him in that bright mansion. We understand it all by and by. Father alone, we know all about <coughs> it. Father alone, we understand why. Cheer up, my brother, live in the sunshine. We understand it all by and by. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this privilege to share in this moment. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing to present this, your word, to these your people and as I your servant present your word to these your people it is my prayer that you move beyond my weaknesses my faults and my failures and see the needs of your people today come Holy Spirit come heavenly dove and kindle that sacred fire in these cold hearts of ours now when you do this not if you do it but when you do it we shall be careful to give you the praise the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's people said amen. Amen. Uh, first giving honor to God who is the head of all of us, whether we like it or not, he is the head. And he said that every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that he is the Lord. There will be those who will be hard-headed, but he said that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. So even in this moment, I give him praise. I give him thanks for all of the many blessings that he have allowed me to experience. To the wonderful officers of this church, New Hope AME Church, uh, 950 Sugar Hill Road in this great township of St. George. To the uh, visiting friend, we want to thank you for being a part of this celebration today. And particularly, we want to say to the family, we're with you in prayer, and we do thank you for allowing uh, this church to have experienced uh, just a little bit her, of her glory. I did not know her personally, but I did hear a lot of things about her. And um, uh, one of the uh, uh, fine persons that met me on the yard today, uh, he said if there was anything he had to describe Sister Washington as, as a quiet, quiet person who went about her business in her own quiet way. And I think that's what God wants from all of us. He wants us to do our business and not going out in some great uh, 
celebration in and of ourselves, but in him. I believe that if you do your job and you do it well, everyone will see it. You don't have to post it on the billboard. Everyone will see your works. I believe God has honored uh, Sister Washington mm -hmm. today. I think she celebrated 100 years, didn't she? Amen. Uh, 100 years. The scripture talks about um, uh, people who make that 100 years. I read it early in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. uh, who, who they, they say rejoice. And God promises all of us uh, a long life longevity when we uh, please him so we can celebrate truly today i just trust that um, i can reach 100 if i'm feeling good <laughs> Amen. I, <don't> <laughs> I, I wish that i could uh, reach 100 years old mm -hmm. uh, but i just want to thank god for even witnessing a day i can imagine in that hundred year span She've experienced a lot of ups and downs and trials mm -hmm. and tribulations, but but through it all, mm -hmm. uh, one lady told me today, he said, if I can look like that at 100 years old, Amen. <laughs> I, must, <laughs> I think she, one of the young ladies said, she looked better than me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when you're 100 years yes. old and, and, and can have that, that look of serene on your face mm -hmm. like that, you know, God has accepted you. Yes, right. Yeah, you don't have to struggle in this life. You don't have to, you know, try to make something happen. It, it shows on your face. An old man told me once, Paul, you better believe one thing. If you don't believe anything else, that the God you serve will carve his image on your life mm -hmm. and on your face. In other words, if you're living for God, it'll show up. Amen. Y'all not hearing me. Amen. You think crooks, you know, crooks have a way of looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God they serve. Amen. Call their image on his life. So God has called this image on Sister Washington's life today. Yes, he did. And, and uh, the scripture that I, I, I've chosen today, and I won't be long because I feel the rain coming. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter number uh, 15 uh, I'll go down to verse number 51 so that I don't have to read as much. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, beginning at verse number 50, it says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. But behold, I tell you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye Amen. at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. Amen. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall we be brought to pass it's the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, Hades, where is your victory? Then finally it says, the, the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like for you to think with me for a moment. Death has no victory. Death has no victory. Um, I promised myself that every time I had an opportunity to speak to family members who are troubled by the passing of a loved one, and um, I wanted to remind them of a few things that that God has promised. And I would say, for those of you who are being saved, those of you who are being saved, you can now catch a few glimpses of a conversation that was had between you and your God before you came to this earth. That conversation described everything that you would do, become, or have in this life before ultimately coming back to the Father. 
And before he breathed, before he sent you into your mother's womb, he breathed on you and he said, this conversation you are not going to remember until you come to certain pivotal crossroads in your life. He said, when you come to those pivotal crossroads in your life, uh, you will hear my voice. He said, for my sheep will hear my voice and a stranger they will not follow. So there are certain things in this life that you have to go through and you have to realize that they are already prearranged, preordained, predestined to happen. Mm -hmm. This moment here is not something new to God. It is not something that caught God uh, uh, off, off, off balance or off track, or off, uh, off God. He did not catch him that way. God knew exactly what would happen in this particular life. He knew the day, this day would come. As a matter of fact, he had it written in a book. He had it written in a book. And he wants you to know that every single instance in your life that you can vividly remember. There are certain things that happened to me yesterday. I can't even tell you what, what it was. But then there are other things that happened 30 years ago. I can remember it like on the back of my hand. Somebody say amen about amen. that. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so God, God knows those instances in your life that, uh, you, that, that, that you needed to remind you that you were on the right track. Amen. There are certain things, certain, certain points in your life where God has actually stopped you right in your track. Thank and he, you, Lord. And he made you remember distinctively you, that particular moment. It was just a piece of the part of that conversation that you had with God. And it, it, it will be revealed as life goes along. This is why life is so, so important. It is so important that you catch what it is that you should do while you are here so that you can remember what it is that you ultimately need to finish before Amen. you leave this earth. Amen. You need, you need to do it. Tell your neighbor, you need to do it. You need to do it. You need to do whatever God has called you to do in this Amen. life, and he'll point it out, and he'll make it so clear when you come to those pivotal crossroads in your life. He'll make it so that you will understand it and understand it crystal clearly. Points in time where you can remember and you can look back and say, listen, I've seen this thing before. Amen. I've been here before. I, I, I've seen this particular scene Amen. work out. Yes. It was just in your spirit that God had breathed into you before you came to this earth. Mm -hmm. And that should give rise to something rising up inside of you. They call faith. Amen. Faith Amen. Is, the, is, the, is the substance so of things hoped for and the evidence of things Amen. not seen. Let me say it this way. Faith is the absolute assurance that you're going to receive something that you do not yet have. Faith Amen. is that thing. Thank you, Lord. That God has given you to carry you when times get rough. Amen. Faith is that thing that calls you to get up even when you don't feel like get, getting up. Faith is that thing that calls you to go on even when you don't feel you like, like going Amen. on because something on the inside of you telling you that there is a preordained message in this thing. Amen. And victory will be mine. Yes, it will. Victory will be mine. mine. Hallelujah. This is what I believe, uh, uh, Sister Washington, mm -hmm. by just, just, just seeing that serene look, uh, I believe that she, she rose up to accept that which God had chronicled in her life. She mm -hmm. rose up, and she was able to, to, to reach that manifested destiny. Chronicle, 100 years. I don't believe that's by accident. <laughs> I, I don't believe one, you, can't, you, can't, you can't trick 100 years. Uh, you may be able to trick a few years, but you, you can't trick 100 years. So, 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 so God uh, 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 had, had worked his plan out in her life. And you all must know and get in touch with that which God has called you to do. You to do, take every moment, every moment that you have, and look at it, study it, and, 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 and begin to walk in it. You need to just walk it out. Don't be so intimidated Amen. by the little things that come along in life. They will come. There will be their ups, there will be their downs, there will be opportunities for you to make bad decisions. Mm -hmm. But that's all right. It was all in the plan. Tell your neighbor it's all in the plan. All in the plan. It was all in the plan. <laughs> and God knew it. Yes, sir. 
He knew. Oh, everything. So, so death has no victory. Satan has no victory. We win. Hallelujah. We win. Tell your neighbor, we win. We win. One more thing I need to tell you. Hi, my name is Clinton J. Hall II, the middle child of Shotgun and Minnie Mae from Greensboro, Georgia. And I stopped by today to tell you that my message is over to you. Hallelujah. Now you can go on about your life. Amen. And do what God told you to do. God say that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him. Amen. 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 God, I thank God for this opportunity. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. And we ask for your easing, comforting spirit to come now and minister to these, your people. Let them know and be, and be aware and in full touch with that which you have so commissioned them to do. Bless them. Let them leave this, let, let them leave this place with all of the wonderful memories that Amen. Sister Washington has provided for them. Mm -hmm. And let them be strengthened to go on anyhow. In Jesus' name we pray. God's Amen. people said amen. 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 Amen.